Welcome to another episode of, Plus, of Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my interesting co actors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olua Washonke. You don't oh. take my show, Plus Events. <laughs> so <laughs> Plus TV, not Plus <laughs> TV at all. <laughs> How you doing? Well, it's Friday. Why are you acting like there's anywhere to go and... Ah, let me see. Having Saturday and Sunday to yourself is a big deal. No, I've been resting a lot this weekend, and, you know... You don't want to rest again? No. Mm. No, I do. I'm saying... Hey, that's very excited now. Probably you will have someone special coming over, you know? I'm blushing. Oh, so when you said I didn't have plans this morning, I was laughing at you. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Madara. is coming best? over. His audio girlfriend. Oh, okay. Mm. You'll come, she'll come over via Skype, right? <laughs> so do you now. Why, Why did that sound wrong? She would come over. Oh, gosh. Um, okay. I'm moving on to <laughs> the conversation of the day. Wife of TV personality Ray J files for divorce after four years of marriage. According to TMZ, Princess Law filed the docs um, documents Tuesday in Los Angeles County Superior Court. Can I just beg her to stay? Just Why? Um, because I believed in You're their love. You're being biased love. now. I know, I am. <laughs> <laughs> because I believed in their love so much. Like, these people used to vibe me like people that would last forever, just the way they were. And he really messed up. And, yeah. And abandoned her. I don't her. know. I, I don't follow them a lot. But from the little I've read, I feel like it's... It's a deep-rooted issue mm, that well, would yeah, require a lot of effort from the guy, especially. You know, to you make know, you know. My question, work. in as much as it sounds deep-rooted, because um, the issue happened in October 2019 when mm -hmm. they went for an award. What award was that again? I don't remember. I don't remember what award. But it wasn't great. It wasn't and great then he left, mm -hmm. and then she came out to address. She did a follow-up to address the issue that look, I have my own money, but my car is right here, so and I cannot be driving. With, I'm eight baby. months pregnant and a child. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I can't be driving. So it's not. She wasn't nagging about whether he left and she couldn't travel or she was stranded in the real sense. Mm -hmm. You understand? But he left. So, well, he never came out to come and explain like, oh, this is my own. So I got arrested. I couldn't. My phone was was not reachable. You know, give us was that something. What no, I'm saying like he never gave us anything. Because there was nothing. There was give. nothing. Um, so it was just. Remember, she also said she found a phone, a mm. hidden phone where he admitted, according to her, that he is entertaining mm -hmm. some ladies on it. So it could be that one of the ladies were in the yeah. city at the moment. We don't know, but that's why I feel like whatever the issue is, I don't think it started at, at that event. I think they need to actually sit down and work this out, but I, I'm not sure she's still at that stage mm -hmm. right now. I think she's done. Yeah, I, I think, think that was done. definitely the um, the straw that broke the camel's back because mm. she never, they've never, I'm sure they've had issues in the four years, but they've, she's never been the one to like take it to social media. Yeah. And say, but I remember when he went all out on Valentine's Day for her. Do you know? Look, that's what I mean. They said it did not work. <laughs> Shade Room actually uploaded. It was in Shade Room's comment that she was like, nah, 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 nah she's not. So I, I don't know if it's your theory where like this is a build up or she just has a really high standard and can't imagine mm. you know having someone like that doing but she's, she also said that she has always been the one i uh, know he has always been the one threatening with divorce Okay. Whenever they have an issue and then they have a conversation, he threatens to leave her. So okay. that's what I'm saying. There is a lot. Mm -hmm. It's not just. I, I think when it comes to romantic ge ge gestures, you have to make sure every other thing is is, that, yeah. is working yeah. before you just think you can throw gifts and then it will yeah. work. I don't think it works that way. Yeah. Um. Um. Ray J has always been shady from Kim Kardashian. Yes. Uh, yes. He, he was the one who like licked. How many years he but it was the one who licked the video. I guess so. It was it's still shady, by yeah. yeah. So he's still shady. So he has always been shady. So I cannot even vouch for him as a man. Oh, that okay, wow. maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe okay, not. I can't say maybe, maybe not on this one because mm. with you did the same thing with Kim, mm. and now your wife, someone you're actually married to, is also come. How do you do that? Abandon a pregnant woman, eight months pregnant, for that mm. matter, and I'm a child, leave like, and leave, and then blocked our calls. Ah. Uh. This one is a toxic part now, but let's just <laughs> move on since it's not about B. <laughs> Reports say um, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are staying at Tyler Perry's $18 million mansion, and this arrangement may have been done by their mutual friend Oprah Winfrey. It is not known whether Harry, 35, and of course Meghan, 38, are renting Tyler's property or staying there as guests, but there is no record of the mansion having been sold. 
I have security concerns on the story, even uh, though they said um, they have estate security. But they I think don't just have estate security. See, that that just sounds casual. Have you seen that place? Like the perimeter of the perimeter. The house is the house of an estate. <laughs> like it's a whole estate. How are you gonna get secure there? That it's thing. pretty secure. We put it's secure. Oh, it's okay. secure. All right. I just, uh, my I just my, so. my thing is that I hope he is getting paid for this. Um, Who's I'm, that, Tyler? Yes. Of course. Why? Because he can do it from the goodness of his heart, especially if your prof feels like they need the help at this. I mean, they're yeah, best. That, considering the fact so. that Oprah yeah. is involved, yeah, okay. Mm. And besides, you know what it means for the Duke. Uh, what does he mean? Let's not even go there. You shall take his clothes. The Duke and Duchess is success because that's in my cream. Oh, Duke, uh, uh, that's the reason why me, I was not saying they should pay because I'm sorry, you. I'm sorry, maybe I'm doing too much. I just put color everywhere. into it that if this was like a black couple that had a lot of influence with Oprah, you know get up and then would he give his house for free mm. i'm just I, like it's, mm. i hesitated to bring this up that's an it angle is. i want pro black mm. 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 I'm, I'm just I'm i want pro black <laughs> i am just saying but, but then i get what she's saying because mm. me i was so nigerian let me tell you my know, nigerian right? angle you know when you watch nollywood don't laugh and then um um let's prince. say the should i even say prince okay so let's say the prince is from the rich home of course he's a prince and then he had married one babe like that and then because he loves the babe he now rejected his home and then you know, he now brings the prince into her own family you are now in our family mm -hmm. house that's how he felt for me. <laughs> <laughs> they're already giving filmmakers a, a uh, script right and they'll call it megan and harry i really you lost them. me halfway because that's the way nigerian movies lose me halfway uh, no, don't sit down do you have more to say since I've no. lost you? I didn't even get this. But story. I, I wish them, <laughs> but at least you did. I wish no, I know. Them I'm just anyway. saying. I just hope mm. that they find their um, foot again. And I also hope that this is a decision based on, oh, there is a house that is available and we're offering it from the bottom of our heart, right, right. not because we cannot afford where we want to stay at the mm. moment. Also, I also think that it might be a bit difficult for them to find the kind of house they need right now, mm. actually during the pandemic. Yeah. Um, I don't think all estate agents will be available to start taking you um, round to see the kind of property mm. you want. So this is um, probably the most available right, place. Right. And Oprah and um, Talia were nice enough to say, no, we'll stay here for the meantime till I believe, um, the pandemic I believe it's over. So be I think a rental the thing because um, they said no record of the house being sold yet. So obviously Tyler didn't sell the house. So if it, I believe it's going to be on lease. Maybe mm. we'll be here for like a year. So we need a place and then obviously. But Tyler is the kind of, well, I don't know him. What am I saying? Like I know him. I feel like Tyler is the kind of person that would say, Oh no! Don't worry. I got this. She got to stay. I'm not I using. I, I'm really not using that property Richie, right now. Well, even, even, even if he's like not, that, even if um, they're not going to pay outrightly, say I'm paying for the rent, you would have to take up the maintenance of the house, basically. Or, the, obviously, yeah. or he says you're gonna spy my next movie. Oh, oh gosh, please. Um, um, okay, I think it's time for a Since quick break. Since we are coming break. up with theories, <laughs> let, let me come up with mine. <laughs> when we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Ali Baba. Right oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull, everybody feeling alright. Still buy. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> 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 Ghanaian artist Bisa Kedi says Ghana music won't collapse without Sakodie, Shatawale, and Stoneboy. Interestingly, we mentioned them this morning. But yeah, mm. speaking in an exclusive interview on Radio Central, he was asked if without Sakodie, Shatawale, and Stoneboy, um, that the music industry will collapse, and he said that is not possible. But everyone has got the genre of music that they are doing, and right now in Ghana, we've got a lot of artists doing different types of genres. Um, the fact that some artists are good in making noise about their work 
box does not mean the rest are not up to the task or are asleep as the person sought to suggest. End of quotes. You heard that. What did you do? Ah. That shade tone. <laughs> that shade was, yeah. was loud. <laughs> that they made noise. Mm. And basically, Katie is big in his rights as well, mm. obviously. Mm. He does the um, ape life music in Ghana, so that's like proper Ghanaian music mm -hmm. and this is the first time i actually this um realized that they call shatawali stone boy and sako they are the three s mm -hmm. of the Ghanaian. i've never three heard that guys. before yeah. the three biggest and that's also quite a coincidence that the three biggest stars their mm -hmm. names start with s in ghana so, so if you want uh, to blow in ghana please add s you know even if you are bisakedi just say s bisakedi mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> say sabrina <laughs> no. What did you say? It's Abena. You know, Abena is a mm. common. Um, okay, to be honest, away from his sarcasm, I have to agree. I think it is impossible to give the whole um, uh, uh, Ghanaian industry to three people. Like, even if you brought it back to Nigeria and took out three big names, yeah. Oh, come on, you can't use Nigeria. You can't let's, count let's, three let, big no, names. Let's be realistic. Yeah, just, okay, count, I think we should go you back need to, to count 10 where big is names. this guy yeah. from? Um, the Tanzania, is Tanzania, right? Diamond, Diamond. Uh, Diamond. Yeah. If you, you can use that well, country. Yeah, so. like, <laughs> come on. The shade. Okay, okay. it's not a shade. It's just. A I, I think that in the country in itself, there's just too much, there's too many talents mm. there that they would survive. But if you asked that question and said, like, on an international on an international scale, then. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're talking about international standard. I think we'll only be able to come up with five big names in Nigeria as well. Uh uh. Oh. Uh uh. Ah. Uh, international Ife. recognition. Ife. Ife. David o. International Whiskey. recognition. Bona Boy. Boy. Um, um, Tiwa Savage. Dibanj. Um, Yemi Alade. Uh uh. Um, I'm so proud Alade. of my country. Alade. Hey. We are too much. <laughs> that was what he wanted to do. We of course, I just wanted you guys God. to just. Please, you are with me on the I hear that you won right now. Okay. Right. Uh, moving on to the next one. Ladies, ladies, don't advertise your man. If he's not advertising you, um, don't. If he's acting single, act like a widow. Life is too short. <laughs> and this is coming from Big Brother Ninja, um, Omar Shola. Mm. I mean, that, that's, that's how you should be. Fair, 50-50. Uh, no. But I saw something Will yesterday. Will you be advertising somebody that's not advertising you? It but I saw some, but it depends. I saw something yesterday that made me mm, like, okay. I, someone was like, if you understand WhatsApp settings, mm. then you will not be overly excited when your woman posts you. Mm. Yeah, yeah, if of you course, want, that's an angle. Understand WhatsApp, WhatsApp settings. settings. What, what? WhatsApp, WhatsApp, WhatsApp settings, WhatsApp, right, because yeah. you can block every other person from seeing you, you and you'll be the only one seeing you. Or you and your friends. Oh, sorry. You and your friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, I have to disagree. I'm with someone who's like not a social media person at all. Mm -hmm. Like, ah, if you my, you cannot talk, because if I go to his page, <laughs> yes, I know. The first time I went to his I know, page, I know, Ife, I, know. I thought that was Wait. your page. So, <laughs> I know. Mm -mm. Wait. What I'm just so saying. So, don't use yourself as an example. You, 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 you don't want to. What I'm just trying okay, to say is mm. that, before, is that like, he, mm. Mm. the type of pictures that he that. would like to upload, mm. if we're going to compare to the type of pictures I like to upload about us, Who cares mm. about it would be the like type. very different. I, we're not talking about types about now. We're talking it about, about uploads. Like, let's say if I upload just you on your own as an individual, mm -hmm. and you're uploading me with like you kissing or like. I mean, the fact that I can just say, no, I can no. just comment and do exes. Right. Except, except, like, no, except you're uploading him and also uploading other guys just like that. Right, and then right. it doesn't differentiate anything. But if I come to a girl's page and she has all her pictures mm -hmm. and it's just one guy that she just posts right. without fair, 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 a caption. Fair. I, I'm not dumb. I know there's something I've going I've just seen on. people who... Can I make it about myself? Don't make it about yourself. But, but I have a perfect example okay. of my friend who is married now with her husband in Canada. Okay. But he, he's not a strong rapper, so he, he never really posts. But at least he does like once in a year. On a and you know, and it's not like he, yeah. he, he and the it's not like he goes ahead to now start posting mm. other people, yeah. right? Mm. He at least acknowledges her. Mm, so I think mm. once in a year is like a straight. Let's say once in three months or six months, he does. He's not a social media person, but he knows that she likes it. But she goes ahead to display. Oh, we are doing this, yeah. we are doing that, and he indulges her mm. in the videos and all that. And so I, I think know, it depends. I yeah. know ladies kind of feel insecure posting their man as well. Insecure, mostly. yeah, because I don't think it's insecure. I think or, it's actually no, they, they're like actually scared of the ladies because before. You start no, jumping. no, I think it's just privacy, like putting no. it out there for. I'm looking for the right word, but I don't think it's insecurity. I don't think it's privacy. I think it's fear. 
Yeah. Okay. So if taken. actually when you're not married, not taken. Oh, right. right. Like when you're not married happens. to the guy, if yes. it, if it ends yes. and the next month you're posting another person, yes. Yes. it, it yes. feels yes. like okay, True. what's going on? So True. if a lady is not lady if a that. lady is not totally sure, actually for mature, not the one that's playing around. If she's not totally sure, yeah. she's not gonna post anything. Yeah. I saw a picture of a lady who tattooed a man's mm. name on her hand. Then mm. I think when they broke up, she crossed it out and said life, life happens. happens. <laughs> Imagine my own skin. I've seen that. I've actually seen that way like i know people have that conversation with me about oh my gosh you actually post your partner this is the first person i'm doing that with anyway but i understand that like that's definitely a real thing because then if you if you put your relationship out out there you've you've put the social media into, at, it. into your yeah into your business and when the pictures get taken down or sometimes people, people actually like me will notice what happened i swear exactly <laughs> then you have that question of like what happened you have to explain to the world mm. or even if you don't explain we should, we should have the right to start yeah mm. but mm. do you agree that if, the, if, if but you're here to display your audio girlfriend yeah privacy Why? does she does she <laughs> does she privacy. display you on her status no um if i understand whatsapp no. settings i wouldn't be so oh, she excited displays you on WhatsApp. yes she does okay don't, but not instagram I don't, stop thinking negatively mm? i mean it's not everybody no, that I'm, not everybody understands but, that but settings you know what you know what the, even I those think, who think, do, don't usually use it i think it's agreements between both partners now if i know you deeply love me i don't need your um public display right. for me to know that That's you true. do love me so mm. it doesn't really matter whether but in nigeria in, if I, if my if let's say i was i was dating in nigeria and born and raised and he's not posting me on his social Why media he be and he uses social media mm -hmm. should i be worried no no you shouldn't be shouldn't. okay you shouldn't be okay that's what i'm actually saying some people have professional Just sure pages that he's, he's he has sense right and he's i mean you know when he's one unless he's he always yesterday. posting other girls brain, you yeah, will yeah. know yeah. if he's always posting other they're, girls. My, they're my friends i can post my friends ah, mm. yeah. man now that's ah. a problem Please let's move on before we go deep, deep. <laughs> but if it's their birthday, it's not a problem. It's a problem. Mm -mm. On their birthday, he will post it on your birthday. And is it, is I, it I know someone who will post "Happy Birthday, Love." All of them, <laughs> "Happy Birthday, Love." Uh, "Happy no, Birthday, no, Love." No, no, no. I don't think I would like my let's my partner posting place. somebody don't "Happy worry. Birthday." Go and tell on WhatsApp, and that's okay. Why? Ah, okay, no, moving please. on. If mm -mm. <laughs> a true countryman, a hero, and this is what you Ildoche calls Idris Abdul Karim. This started from a tweet by Sam Clef where he said, let's not forget this great man, a legend, paid the price so that Nigerian artists can be respected and paid well locally, referring to Idris Abdul Karim. And then Nollywood actor Yule Doche jumped on it, responding, saying, I remember his issue then with 50 Cent. Many people misunderstood him and insulted him for it, but all he wanted was for Nigerian entertainers to be respected just the way the foreign ones were respected. A true countryman, a hero, he is a legend, end of quotes. Do you agree? With but him? who insulted him back then? Uh -uh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, well, did he did he get bashed for for fun? Okay, they said he was embarrassed and embarrassed yes, in Nigeria. That, that he was not that. respecting Fifty Cent. He was embarrassing us. People did actually. Okay, but um, I I I agree that um Fifty I said Fifty that Idris Abdul Karim kind of paved the way for a lot of Nigerian artists, especially when it comes to the rap scene. Even though it was migidi figidi and all those things, but wow. it was what? Yeah, yeah before Rugged yeah, Man. Yeah, too, yeah, yeah. Before the Rugged Man was the one who actually came with the true. Rugged lyrics. Man pointed it out that's in one of his own Migidi raps. Like, yeah, yeah, that that's not rapper no. Wow, mm -hmm. like, wow, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, but at least he started that movement, the mm -hmm. hip hop movement, and so there, there's no way we can never take that away from Idris Abdul Karim, mm -hmm. and we will forever be grateful. And what happened between him and Fifty Cent? Maybe because I had the backstory then, because I think it was Star Trek or one of those very popular shows we used mm -hmm. to go back in the day. So I can remember my brother went for it. My immediate elder brother. I wasn't going for stuff like that. But was I? No, I was. Nah, I'm an OG, but I wasn't at that one. But um, my brother went for that event, and when he came back, I think it was part of the organizers and stuff like that. So he got the so full. He was part of gist. the problem. No, he got the full. If he's part of the organizer, he was part of was the problem. Actually, because the Problems are from the organizers not organizing the whole sitting arrangements well. But give us the gist. Regardless you know. about the um, the whole sitting arrangement, 50 Cent wanted to be treated like a king, a king in our country. Mm. Do you understand? And Idris Abdul Karim, being the son of the soil, wasn't having it. Mm. So you can't blame him. So I never bashed him. That's why. And everybody in my circle that knew that story never bashed him. So maybe that's why it's alien to me mm. that people oh, bashed people him back actually. then. People did a lot. Um, but always, oh, is he a legend? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Mm. Yeah. Idris Abdul Karim deserves. Hero? hero mm, maybe Black Panther. 
Wow. Wow. Well, uh, well, I, I have to agree that I didn't even. You didn't follow the story. I didn't follow. First of all, I didn't follow. The story, and it didn't come to my circle uh, in regards to Fifty Cent's drama and everything. I feel like he died down not because of Fifty Cent, but because he didn't just stay relevant in that sense. Some would say he died down because he kind of insulted our former president, sort of. And you yeah, Jaga, yeah. Jaga. Right. Mm. And then somebody else Some replied and said, "Somebody know. else now replied and said it is your." Family members that are <laughs> jaga jaga. <laughs> uh, uh, round of yeah, yeah, have Okay, to so yeah. um, I think that, that, that he died from maybe died for other reasons. Um, I wouldn't really call him a legend. I think that they are people who play pioneering um, roles in terms of a movement and everything. And he did that, and it's important in that regard. But that he, he gave us like blissful music, and we'll forever be grateful. And I, I don't think so. What's that? Said, um, he gave us what? what good that music? Yes. I didn't talk about good music. No, no, I said no, no, she, no I'm just, that's I'm, what you yeah. call him a legend for now, basically. Because if you're not calling him a legend, him being an artist, what are you calling him a legend for? He's, an, he's a legend for fighting for the hip hop space. <laughs> okay. I'm a legend to a I think that's that. For what? Everything. <laughs> uh, are you, are you known for your fights? Uh, sorry. At mm. least he got popular for his fights. That's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 090 6075719 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this conversation and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always will go to my co-anchors Ife Omai and Ife Olua Oshunkaye and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.